Hey everybody, Fuseman coming at you today, and first thing I wanted to say was thank you for all the support that I got over the last week. It's got me super pumped to continue working on this, and can't wait to see where this journey goes. Also, if you're going to SVBR meetup this, this Thursday, hit me up, I'll be there giving out demos in Abbey, and you can look forward to that. I'll be trying to get out a new demo for using Project Tango, so look forward to that as well. The second thing that I wanted to talk about was this question that I've been getting asked a lot recently, which is, does Navi work for mobile VR? And the answer is yes. This weekend I put together a demo using Google Cardboard, um, and this is the setup I have. So you have the Google Cardboard that you normally use, and I've also attached a strap from a keychain that I built and attached the Velcro on the sides. So this is what I'll be using to show the demo today. Third, I wanted to introduce iOS support. So a lot of people have been asking for this, and I finally got an app uploaded to the submission process for the App Store on Friday. So hopefully that should be coming out soon. But in the meantime, if you want to test it out earlier, I can add you to the external testers. I have a thousand access codes, so let's try to use them all. The last thing that I wanted to talk about was communication with the community. So I created a Google group um, as a means to try and solve this issue. You can check out the link in the description below. So hopefully that should try and streamline some of the communication channels we have. Um, as a way to talk about new ideas that you have for using Navi, as well as trying to solve uh, troubleshoot issues that you might have. Um, but I'm completely open to other, other ways of communicating with the community, so let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions, and I'd love to hear them. Hop right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and launch my iPad app, and then I'm going to go ahead and launch the demo. So basically what this is, is the demo is just a video player with a few bells and whistles that I've added to highlight Navi. So, stopped in. And now we're in. So they've already connected, and this is the same instruction screen uh, that we saw with Jelly Fling. So I'm just gonna quickly run through these. Uh, again, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and do our reset. And so it is a video player, um, and it's not fully optimized, so it takes about a minute for the video to load. So in the meantime, what we have here is a nice drawing board that we can play around with. Um, as you can notice, Google Cardboard tends to drift a lot, especially on older phones like my S4. So what is nice about this is that I can use Navi to continually reset the device, so you don't necessarily see that much drift which is very useful. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say, Hi, YouTube. Oops, there we go. It's not perfect, but works. I'll reset again. Um, I can use three fingers to clear. I'm going to give a shout out to one of my friends with a hashtag CVH that and for the kicks I'm no artist but I think I can or maybe I can't draw a stick figure I'm gonna be holding some firewood I'm going off to start the fiber fire he's a caveman um, so yeah there is a lot of drift but like I said the very nice thing is we can reset uh, however many times we want and yeah so, still loading here, it should be a few more minutes, or a few more seconds, um, and we should get the go-ahead to go and try out the app. Um, can play around with this a bit more. Whee! Alright, we are we got the clear. So, so yeah. This is the video player. We can double, let's let's go ahead and double click. reset um, there it is 
Uh, second, I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit, just so we get to the more exciting part. There's a lot of waiting in this video. So yeah, that um, that is this demo. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Sorry about the audio. I didn't have much control um, because I was using the app Mobisend for recording from my mobile device. But I hope you still got a, a sense of what uh, Navi could do with even Google Cardboard. Um, I'll be putting up the code on GitHub shortly. But first, I wanted to ask if you guys would like to see a tutorial of, say, certain parts of how I made um, the 360 video. So whether that be controlling uh, drawing on a plane in front of you using Navi or uh, controlling um, the seek bar and pausing and starting a 360 video, uh, let me know in the comments what, which one you'd prefer. I might try to do both, um, but I think that might be a little long for a YouTube tutorial. So yeah, please let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, so TLDR or I guess TLDW, too long didn't watch. Um, one, um, if you are interested in trying out iOS before the App Store comes out, send me an email um, and I'll be happy to add you. Two, um, if you're interested in staying in touch with this, um, sign up for Google Groups um, or um, shoot, me a, shoot me a comment um, on what, what you think would be better. And then three would be um, let me know about the tutorial. Um, I'd be happy, happy to make one. So thanks, guys. It's been Fuse Man, and I'm logging out.